Well, Jack, well done. It was a, a real burst from 4-1 down, having lost that respot. How, how proud were you of the way you managed to produce your best snooker just when it really mattered? Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm pleased with the way I um, yeah, played from 4-1 down after losing, losing that frame um, on a respot. Um, yeah, I thought I played quite well after that. And you know, he, he, he's only 17 years old, Jamie, yeah. and uh, he showed some real talent there, didn't he? Yeah. Was it just a case of your experience coming to the fore? And that's yeah, well, I'm, I've never seen him play or played him um, before, but he's obviously like a very good player, um, especially for his age. And he goes for a lot of balls and pots a lot of them. <laughs> so it, it kind of, um, when, you, when you feel you're expected to win, it puts a lot of uh, pressure on, on you as well. And I mean, he made like a 40 or 50 break in the first frame and just kept potting balls when I just thought he was going to play safe. Um, so, yeah, I thought from, I, I just try to use my experience actually, yeah, because I know it's his first uh, season, I think, on the tour. Um, and then I think, yeah, he started to miss a few then as, as, uh, as I came back. And can, can a match like that, you know, a, a real scare, in hindsight, having now got through it, can that actually help you going forward this week and sort of sharpen you up a little bit? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, kind of like battle sharpened, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but that's, um, yeah, if you, if you win easy, you, your expectations can get um, a bit too much. Um, but yeah, I think a match like that is, is definitely good. And in previous years at, at this event, and as with uh, you know a lot of players, with it being the last event of the season, you've had sort of tour survival implications and things, and all, all sort of other stuff on, on, on your mind. You don't have that as a problem this year. Yeah. Does that being able to just focus on the ultimate goal of getting to the Crucible? Does does that make things a, a little bit easier for you? Uh, it hasn't felt like it um, in practice leading up to it. Um, I had like so many problems with my tip and stuff, and my head's been a bit like well, not a bit, but it's, it's been pretty much gone. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've not felt great from that side of it, but um, yeah, obviously it's, it's good not to have that, that added pressure as well of um, tour survival or anything like that, like other players have got. You look like you're in pretty good touch in that second half of the match. Do, do, are you kind of comfortable with your tip as it is now? Uh, no, I'll probably change it tonight. Um, try, and get, try and get a better tip on and um, yeah, I, sh I should be okay for the next match. And you know, the key problems aside, this is your seventh stab at trying to get to the Crucible. You know, if you put that to one side, do you, do you feel in a, in a really good position, in one of the best positions you've been in to try and have a minor charge at getting there? Yeah, I feel like I'm yeah, at my best, kind, uh, as well as, as good as I've been at the moment. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of good players on the tour, so it's not, it's not that easy to get to the Crucible or anything, but um, I'm in as good a shape game-wise as I've ever been. So, um, yeah, I don't see why not.